How far from Earth have Earth-living beings died? No living beings born on Earth can avoid dying, sooner or later, on the same planet. Or can they? It turns out that now, in the age of space travel, there are other possibilities. As of 2016, 18 astronauts are reported to have died during space flights, with 15 of them dying right after the launch or upon atmospheric re-entry, and only three of them perishing in space. The three people above were the Soviet cosmonauts Vladislav Volkov, Viktor Patsayev, and Georgi Dobrovolsky, the crew of Soyuz 11. On June 30th, 1971, after spending over 23 days in orbit, they were undocking from space station Salyut 1 when a breathing ventilation valve was unexpectedly jerked open during the separation of the orbital and descent modules. This resulted in a steady loss of pressure, which caused the cosmonauts' deaths within about 30 seconds. The tragedy occurred at the height of about 167 kilometers. So, sadly, this is the farthest from the Earth that humans have ever died. However, human space missions were preceded by launching other living creatures into space. The United States and the USSR had been putting animals atop rockets since 1947. These were mainly dogs, monkeys, chimps, but also wasps, beetles, tortoises, flies, worms, fish, spiders, rabbits, bees, ants, frogs, mice, crickets, rats, and some other animals, many of which died in space. But the living beings that have died farthest from Earth are not humans or test animals. These are microbes. Even though spacecraft need to be and are thoroughly sterilized in order not to contaminate their new environment, many bacterial spores are still found on them after all the cleaning steps. Sometimes, this can even lead to a cancellation of the mission. For example, in 2003, fearing contamination of the icy moon Europa, scientists controlling the Galileo mission crashed the spacecraft into Jupiter to prevent microbes from accidentally taking seed on the moon, which might be habitable. So, no matter what new methods are developed for sterilizing spacecraft, some microbes remain alive even after exposure to the ultraviolet and ionizing radiation, extreme temperatures, and vacuum of space. A 2008 study revealed the presence of 1.98 times 10 to the 11th power bacteria per sterilized spacecraft prior to launch. If, hypothetically, one in a thousand of these microorganisms survives in space conditions, and one in ten of these finds a place aboard to avoid ultraviolet radiation, then an average voyager must carry about 10 million spores into deep space. Based on another study, their death rate is proved to be 30% per six years, which means in 50 years' time their number will still be 1 million with one of them dying every 10 minutes, thus setting another record in dying farthest from Earth. If you liked the video, push the like button and subscribe to our channel. There's lots of fun stuff ahead.